up guys this is destroy hd and uh i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the basic uh box intro in cinema 4d that i always make for these speed edits and stuff i guess people like them so i'm just gonna show you how to make them in cinema 4d uh if you want like a video on how to download cinema 4d i can do that but there's lots of tutorials out there already it's pretty easy. It's a lot easier than like Sony Vegas or something. It's taken a while. I placed all my icons down here. They all look pretty bad, but... I don't know. So why aren't you coming up, Cinema? There we go. Okay. So, basically... First thing you want to do is make text by going to this button right here. I don't know what the hell that is. Alright. You go here, hold it down, move over to here, release, there you go. Click on it, edit it, put it to whatever you want, I'll just put test. There you go. You can move it up so if you put anything under it, it won't be like under that and then it gets kind of annoying trying to read it. So, change the font to whatever you want. Um, we'll just do this font. This font is like the basic Call of Duty 4, I think. Um, this right here, horizontal spacing. I'm going to change that to negative 20. That way the letters are closer together. The other vertical spacing is obviously up and down, so that doesn't apply here. But to make this 3D, you can see that if I render it out, there's nothing there. So in order to make it 3D, you need to go to the screen button, hold it down, go to extrude, extrude NURBS, take the text, and move it up. See how it's pointing to the left right now? Well, you need to move it up so it's pointing down. That way it becomes part of this. And then... Uh, you can minimize that. Well, for any time I do this, I go to uh, extrude nerves. If you click on the text while it's still in there, it, get, it brings up all this stuff. And if you click this, it brings up all the 3D stuff. So I'm going to put this to 1 because that's what I usually do. That makes it completely flat. And then if I put it to something like 99, I don't know. See how it's not flat. So basically movement here the third box controls that so then to change the color of this font, uh, text you double click anywhere in here makes a new material then you double click on that then you go to color here uh, you can just pick any color I'll just pick blue so that's good and drag it to the extrude nerves and if you want the whole background if I run this out you see the background is black even though there's no background there if you want the whole background to change you go to this this uh, light you hold it down you go to sky then you make a new material go to the color make it whatever we'll just put it as white and then you drag that to sky and then it makes it white so now it's white now, for the uh, box, what I do is I make a cube here, then I uh, adjust it so it's thin, I'll move it like right behind the text, make it a little bigger, and then we'll adjust it once it's in front of it. So obviously that's way too high, so that's better, we'll just keep it like that. Then to make it look like, if I render this out, the difference between that and the background, so to change that, you just have to drag the same color that's in the sky to the first cube, and then all of a sudden, it's gone. So what you have to do is press Control c or just copy, and then Control v and paste, and then select whichever one, it doesn't matter, because they're the exact same. And then you drag it back, so there's like a little space. Then you just make it a tiny bit bigger each way, and usually dragging putting the same color as the text looks the best so if you put the same color you can see this box effect 
uh, and then if you want to put your link down below you just copy and paste the text extrude nerves edit the text to say you know http youtube.com slash test and there you go what you have to do to make that smaller is you go to text go down to height height is just another word for size you put it to something like 20 that's I guess that's too small but put it to something like 40 double that oh because this is copied from this and this remember at the beginning we changed the uh, horizontal thing so we have to change that back to zero horizontal spacing is negative 20 we need to change it back to zero and there you go um, if you want more of these cinema 4d tutorials I can show you how to move it I can show you how to I can show you how to do it's a ton of stuff so like it if you want more stuff leave a comment uh, it'd be a big help all right thanks